Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're doing good, having a good day and a fruitful week. So welcome back to my YouTube channel and let's get into the video. So today we are going to review the famous Nairobi Street Kitchen. It's found in Westlands in Nairobi County. So let's get into the video. So I got here at around 11 a.m. and that's the time they are opening up. Uh, so let's have a look of the outside part of it. Honestly, it's more than what I expected. It's attractive, calm, and very clean, as you can see. Nairobi. Everything so far is going on well. <laughs> I came here at around 11 a.m. and now they have opened up but it's just a quite fine fine place. The hospitality is top notch. Um, the ambience. I'm in the coffee shop right now because it's the one that's open right now. Uh, other people are here to open up. And then we'll get to have a test of different types of cuisine uh, and have an experience. Yeah, we'll have to rate them. <laughs> I saw the conversation in Twitter. That's why I came here. Many people are saying nay, but let me not judge first. I've already seen their menu for the breakfast. Let me hope the portion of the whatever that they are going to serve me just equals the price because. <laughs> I'll have to scream. <laughs> okay, let's wait for us to be sad. My breakfast is here already looking very yummy and one thing about these people they are very timely that's a plus for them and my breakfast is called the fry up breakfast going for 950 shillings yeah let's see if it's worth it <laughs> So guys, I'm done with breakfast and all I can say is that the breakfast was yummy but whenever you go there, whenever you're ready to go there, just google the menu so as not to get disappointed because of the prices. You know, thinking of the street food that we are used to and the one that is here, man, you have to be prepared. I want you guys to have a look of the outside of the restroom space. Uh, I like the way they have done the popping color over there and let's have a look of it.
The bar area space looks so beautiful and calm. I like it here. You know, the ambience, the calmness. <laughs> I like the way they are orderly, honestly. So I think a glass of cocktail can do better in this amazing, amazing space. <music> The hospitality in this place is on another level. Honestly, like the waiter who was serving me was very patient with me. He explained to me those cocktails because I never knew any of them and I opted for the one called Kuna Form. Yeah, that one. So let's have a test of it. Here goes my glass of cocktail and let's enjoy. <laughs> Done with it already, let's explore the remaining spaces of the restaurant before looking for another meal and then we wind up.
so guys as you can see they have the rooftop bar on the first floor but it usually opens at 2 p.m And guys, this is the entrance. I just like the way they have placed those pieces of deca over there. They have made use of that space in a beautiful way. And they have an ample parking area towards that side. Guys, this over here is their pizza restaurant. So their pizza is prepared over here. Back at the ice cream area, let's grab some. So I prefer the vanilla and strawberry one. Yeah, let's see how she prepares it. So she was explaining to me the different kinds of flavors because your girl was undecided. Honestly, guys, I already like their services. Yes. <laughs> She is now preparing the waivers over there. Guys, is it waivers or wafers? Hey, let's see how it turns out anywho. So over here are the different kinds of toppings that they have for the ice cream. This 
is the way it came out. She is trying to fix the wafers with the ice cream in it. Toodles! <laughs> so she's done. Now she's starting to serve the vanilla ice cream in it. Followed by, of course, the strawberry one. Let's now add some toppings on it. Yeah. This is it guys, so let's dig in! That was it for the day guys so the ice cream costs 500 kenyan shillings that is five dollars another thing i wanted to tell you is the security in there is tight you have to like ask for permission before filming for me i never did but i inquired from the waiter who served me first uh, but the security guards later came in and asked me what i was doing and i explained to them i told them this is a youtube vlog uh they took my details my phone number my id number my name and my <laughs> youtube channel name yeah that's how serious they are with the security and it's a good thing anyway yeah that is it guys until next time see ya don't forget to subscribe like and share the video ciao